Shalom, and this is Rabbi Lang for a thought for the week. We are standing right now, right before the holiday of Hanukkah. Of course, the holiday of Hanukkah happened 2,000 years ago and in the land of Israel with the Greeks suppressing the Jewish people's ability to practice their religion. It's very much interrelated with the idea of Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving, people came to the United States of America. And why did they come? Because they wanted the freedom to be able to practice and no one to tell them what they should do. Here was the Maccabees fighting the family, the Kohen family. It was a Kohanim family the, from the priests, the Hashmonaim. They fought back against the Greeks. And finally, they got into the temple. They got into the temple. There was, they couldn't find any jug of oil with the high priest's seal. Finally, they found one. And it was only enough to last for eight days. For one day, and it lasted for eight days. So thus, starting with Hanukkah, every night we light the candles. You could use candles. You could use uh, olive oil. It's ideal. But lighting it every night. First night, one. So on and so forth. So what's so significant about this? The idea of oil. That the miracle happens with oil. We know that there are different parts of our diet. There's the diet, our, the bread, there's water, basics, right? Then you have things that are uh, used, let's say the Sabbath, we make the, the sanctify the Sabbath on wine that's considered for a celebratory or sacramental wine for Kiddush. That's not a staple that's needed for every day like the bread and water, but it's another level. And then there's oil. Oil you can't even consume on its own. Oil is mixed into other foods. So oil represents actually the essence. When you pour oil on something, it always floats to the top. So in the Torah, there are different levels of the Torah itself. There is the bread and water level. That's, this is how you, this is what you should do. This is what we don't do. The commandments, the 613, 248 positive, 365 negative. Those are the bread and water. But then you have the wine. The wine is the secrets of the Torah. And the oil is the secrets of the secrets of the Torah. And that's representative of Hanukkah, the oil of the Torah, the deep, deep secrets of the Torah. This coming week, on uh, November 20th, there is a special holiday called the 19th of Kislev. And the founder of Chabad was put into prison in Russia. And uh, he ended up sitting in for 53 days in prison. And he was the first to take the, he was the founder of Chabad. He, was the ter, the, he took the oil of the Torah, the deep secrets of the Torah, and he started teaching it to people with, in a very, very structured way. And he realized that until his time, many people didn't study these deep secrets. And he felt that his incarceration came because up in heaven, they were not happy that he was teaching the secrets of the Torah to the common folk. So when he was in prison, he got a visit from his teacher, and his teacher's teacher, the Baal Shem Tov and the Magad of Mezrich. And they asked him, why am I here? They said, spiritually up there, they're not happy that you're teaching the secrets, the oil of the Torah. He says, when I leave, should I continue? They said, yes, continue and do it even more than before. Because you had self-sacrifice. There's a green light. He got out of prison and he saw that as a green light to teach these teachings. And this became the New Year's, the Rosh Hashanah of Hasidus. So why do I share this with you? It's a new, it, every single day we give a class on the works of this oil of Torah called the Tanya. And we have a podcast. You could check it out. A Chabad of Camarillo, wherever you get your podcasts. And uh, I'll put a link in the email as well. Tuesday would be a great day to start the cycle from the beginning of Tanya and throughout the entire year, spending some time every day learning this. You could l listen when it works for you. You'll be able to Garner the oil. And what does oil bring? It makes you float on top. Float on top of the problems. Float on top of the darkness. Float on top of the anxiety of everything that's going around. Because the greater the darkness, the greater the light. And that's, my friends, what we're going to celebrate with the 19th of Kislev. And we're going to celebrate this with Hanukkah and all the different events of Hanukkah. So besides kindling the light of the menorah, let's kindle the light of our souls and the people around us by going deeper into the oil of the Torah and studying deep, going deep and expressing a deep light to the world till the world is manifest with godliness.
for the coming of Mashiach speedily now. Amen. Remember to light candles, 432 in Camarillo. Good Shabbos and a happy 19th of Kislev, the Rosh Hashanah of Hasidism, coming up on Tuesday, the 24th of November. And happy Hanukkah on the 28th of November to you and your family. May we have Mashiach now. Amen.